It's Friday, January 15th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Awful Grace of God, and our scripture is Psalm 139. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Aeschylus, an ancient Greek playwright, wrote, The memory of pain falls drop by drop upon our heart, and in our own despair, against our will, comes wisdom to us by the awful grace of God. As a young person, if there was one place I never expected to look for wisdom, it was in the face of pain. But Aeschylus had it right. Unbidden, pain comes to us anyway, and it is our most dramatic and, sadly, our most profound teacher. One important gleaning from pain-induced wisdom, however, is the fact that you will not hear wisdom or sense it's even in the room when a person is in the middle of pain. Anguished cries and incoherent, incomprehensible utterances of those who are overwhelmed by loss do not display wisdom. They display human agony. Wisdom comes later upon reflection. As with Aeschylus, it is the memory of our pain long since subsided that sparks the light of God's grace on our souls. I would add that it is the well and honestly considered memory that allows the dawning of wisdom. When pain is compartmentalized, stuffed away in a dark corner of our being, unfaced and unprocessed for fear of hurting deeper than our supposed coping resources, it invites the fragmenting of our soul and spirit. We can become spiritual zombies, only a facade of the aliveness of resurrection people. The result of unprocessed or ignored pain is a large map of destinations. Among the most fearsome is the sociopath, that monster which feels nothing for others or even himself. The grace of God is the antidote for this road trip. In an awe-filled way, the grace of God invites us to face our pain and overcome the monster waiting to be born in us. Our country is at that type of crossroads today. In our pain of lost elections and riots and COVID-19 deaths and the angst of an uncertain future, we would frankly rather go on vacation and not deal with the mess. It's tempting to apply temporary solutions to such pain. I am a subscriber to the old standby that there are few problems that will not be better when you take a break. Things always seem less problematic after a good nap. But this is not one of those times. We are in the midst of national crisis of mega proportion. Many have adopted the simplistic notion that if this leader or that one is in charge, our problems will go away. The lines in the sand between parties of different methodology and ideology have been drawn deeply and, at times, violently. I think it would be accurate to compare this time in our country's history, fresh from last week's insurrectionist attack on the Capitol building in Congress by domestic terrorists, to that of the mid-19th century, the prologue to civil war. This is a time to face our problems and the pain we would all rather avoid. Facing those problems is not for the debaters who will have all the answers and want to push their agenda. It's not for the faint of heart who will do just a lot of hand-wringing and vent their disdain for what ails us. Facing the problems is a matter for what history teaches us in the likes of men like King David, who, when confronted with his own shortfall of character, confessed and was restored. Or men like Nehemiah, who put his life on the line and offered to go help rebuild Jerusalem. Or women like Esther, whose people were on the verge of annihilation, and she accepted the fact that she was born for just such a time. The scriptures are filled with those who stood firm in the flames of opposition and threat. For us, it can be no different. If God's people will not pray and be ready for serving as balm for the wounds of man's madness, this country, or the human species, doesn't stand a chance. For you today, 
Standing firm does not mean turning on anyone. Wisdom born of pain is taught us by the awful grace of God just the opposite. It means standing true to what Christ has taught us about pain. We bear our brother's burdens like ours was born at Calvary. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.